Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by again. Look, this is going to be a rapid take on Justin Trudeau's ethics violation with regard to SNC-Lavalin. Mario Dion, the de ethics commissioner, he's found that Justin Trudeau effectively put political pressure on Jody Wilson-Raybould, you know, now an independent but former justice minister, in order to reach a deferred prosecution agreement with SNC-Lavalin, you know, the big Quebec-based uh, engineering firm, uh, not because of any legal uh, needs or, or, or philosophy, but because of the blatant politics of it all. That's what happened here. We all knew this was happening. We knew this was happening back in January and February, but it's massive that we got that news today. This confirms a bunch of things for us. First, it vindicates Jody Wilson-Raybould. For so long, she's made the case that all she was trying to do was protect the rule of law and order, but also trying to protect Justin Trudeau and her own party, saying that this is an ethics violation and it will get us into trouble and we need to be careful here because people will see this as improprietous and then, you know, we will, we will face political and maybe legal backlash for it. And she was right. And she wasn't listened to. But she's vindicated now. And I think this gives Jody Wilson-Raybould a much greater chance of keeping her seat as an independent. Because she will have looked like the, 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 the person who was right all along in this scenario. I think another person who's vindicated here is Jagmeet Singh and the NDP. So many liberals have been saying, well, why is the NDP attacking Justin Trudeau on this nothing burger? Why is he aligning with Andrew Scheer against Justin Trudeau? Why is Jagmeet Singh trying to help the conservatives win the next election? And on and on and on. You heard that every single day when the scandal first broke. But the reality is that Jagmeet Singh has always had the nuanced position. It was Andrew Scheer who, from the very beginning, said Justin Trudeau must resign. And that was too premature. We didn't know what Justin Trudeau did or didn't do. But Jagmeet Singh has always been calling for a national inquiry to be separated from the, the, you know, the liberal-dominated Justice Committee and Ethics Committees and to get to the real truth of the matter. And this report by the Ethics Commissioner helps us, but the Ethics Commissioner notes that he wasn't able to get all the information needed. Jagmeet Singh is still right. We need a real national inquiry into this affair. We need to know what happened, why it happened, who did it? We need to know that. Whether it's the Prime Minister or any of his chief advisors or a combination thereof, we need to know the full details. And we need to have Trudeau testify in public, under oath, about his actions and interpretations with this whole affair. We need that. Jagmeet Singh has been calling for it, and he's still right to this day. And I want people to understand this. This isn't going to be a deep dive video into, you know, the, the, the nitty gritty of the scandal. The CBC, CTV, they'll give you that. But I want people to understand that in light of this whole SNC-Lavalin scandal, with regards to the beginning of it, liberals, you know, on social media have been saying, this is nothing, this doesn't mean anything, Canadians don't care. And now I think they're going to have to admit that maybe it is something and it does matter and maybe some Canadians will care. And now they're going to say to you, you still have to vote for Justin Trudeau because there is no alternative to Justin Trudeau. You have to vote for the Liberal Party because the only alternative is Andrew Scheer. But I want to tell you why that's false for two key reasons. One, it was Justin Trudeau and his Liberal Party that lied to you about electoral reform that kept a system in place that could give Andrew Scheer absolute power for five years based on 35 to 40 percent of the vote. That's a system the Liberals kept. They kept it because it benefits them, but they kept it because they would rather give absolute power to the Conservatives than share power with the NDP and Greens. That's a simple fact. Justin Trudeau and his Liberals and the liberal partisans on social media, they're the ones that are putting Canadians in danger of a conservative government with their lie on electoral reform. So don't let them push you around into voting liberal despite Justin Trudeau being a clear, scandal-ridden prime minister. Don't let them do that. But second of all, you do have an alternative. You have an alternative in Jagmeet Singh and the NDP, a party that will stand for jobs and ethics. A party that won't say you have to violate the rule of law and ethics to save a few thousand jobs. A party that will say you can have both. 
a party that stands for working people, not just at SNC, but at Stelco and at Sears and wherever working people are. They don't just use we're standing for workers as an excuse to violate some ethics. This is a key moment in the election. The election hasn't formally started yet, but we're in campaign mode. Progressive Canadians have a clear choice. They can continue to reward the Liberal Party for its betrayals and its corruptions and its lies, or they can back a truly progressive, genuine, honest option and Jagmeet Singh in the NDP. Because let's be real, I will not tolerate, and neither will many Canadians, an argument that it's NDP or Green or Bloc voters' fault if Andrew Scheer wins. It's Justin Trudeau's fault and the Liberal Party's fault because they couldn't not be corrupt and they couldn't keep their promise on electoral reform to ensure that a 40% or 35% turnout for Andrew Scheer gives them absolute power. So don't get pushed around. Don't get pushed around here. Tell Liberals that they don't deserve your vote and that you're not going to vote for Justin Trudeau, you know, lav scam Justin Trudeau, just because he's not Andrew Scheer. At, at the very, very, very least, we need a minority government with the NDP holding the balance of power that will keep the, the excesses of both liberals and conservatives in check and will fight for the things Canadians need. Not handouts to SNC-Lavalin, but truly comprehensive and single-payer pharmacare and dental care and a Green New Deal. And they'll fight for electoral reform so that the Liberal Party can never again try to hold you prisoner at the threat of a conservative government. That's what this is all about. We can change things in this election, but it will never happen if you stay beholden to the Liberal Party, folks. That's the truth.